I mean, there's a part of it from a human side, I understand. And, you know, I, I, I look at it in a, with a few different sort of vision lines, trying to help him move forward, uh, whether that's here or someplace else. Um, trying to make sure that we give him our best effort coaching him and getting him lifting and paying attention and getting shots and playing basketball, although I'm not playing him. Still taking this environment and keeping him positive and moving forward and developing. I look at that responsibility. And he and I talk freely. Then I look at Brian, you know, he's inherited a situation. He's trying to do the right thing by the organization. Jaleel's done nothing wrong since he's been here. He's handled himself with class. And he's been tremendous as a teammate. And so you got this, you know, sort of slippery slope of, of Brian trying to, you know, do the best for the organization in a situation that he inherited. And Jaleel wanted to play basketball. And, you know, somewhere out there, I'm always reminded with, with my young guys that, you know, what is the high road? What's the right thing to do? What would you want somebody to tell your son? And so all I know is to come in with your head high and do your job and things will work out. I truly believe that. And so the frustration that Jaleel has, I get. I understand that. I don't begrudge him at all. And I'm going to continue to coach him. Brian's going to continue to try to do his job. And at 21 years old, he's got a hell of a future. And I, am, I, I truly believe that by just doing the right thing, and him staying in shape and engaged with us and the team, that something's going to happen. And when his opportunity comes, it's not going to be like he hasn't studied. He can jump in. You know, last year I came in and announced to the room that I didn't play him because he had been traded. And everybody went, oh. and that was true. And then it didn't work out. And so he came back in. He's experienced a lot since he has been here. He's a good person. He is a talent. And uh, I'm going to continue to coach him until somebody tells me I'm not. So, right. I think when I look at Joel Embiid, we don't we can t sort of end the conversation there. Like Joel's going to play the lion's share of the minutes. The conversation really is Amir, I suppose. And right now, I've decided for defensive reasons and veteran reasons to go with Amir. At times, there was a small ball game that we've played Dario Saric as a five. We're all going to blink, and Rashawn Holmes is going to be in this conversation in a few days or a week or whatever that is. There's a whole other thing coming. And so for me, you know, that's how I see it, and it's my job as the coach to, to, to make those decisions. It's just the decision that I have made, and uh, those, uh, those aren't easy decisions. But that's the decision that we've made, and I think Jaleel has greater aspirations, obviously, than even being, you know, Joel's backup a little bit like New Orleans. And so we, we, we will try to help him and help the club as time unfolds.